All right. If you like sweet things, today's your day because we're making sugar. Okay, so go ahead and get out photosynthesis part three. And luckily, this is not very long, so you'll have plenty of room to draw on the bottom of the notes. Okay, so just a quick reminder that photosynthesis has two steps. The first one, let's see, photo synthesis. Okay, so the first step of photosynthesis is the light reaction, and that's where sunlight is transferred into ATP and NADPH. Those electrons make cellular energy. Okay, and then the second step, which is what today's lecture is on, is the synthesis. So that's where we're going to make sugar. Okay, so AKA the Calvin cycle. Okay, um, just, just to get things started. The second step of photosynthesis is called the Calvin cycle, but it has another name also. So you may see it called the Calvin cycle, but you may see it called the light independent reaction. Okay, so that means it can happen during the daytime, but it doesn't require light, so it's not independent of light. I mean, it is independent of light. It's not dependent of light. Okay, so the Calvin cycle, I'm going to show you the textbook pictures first, and then I'm, we're going to draw it a little more simple. Okay, so look over here. We're looking at the Calvin cycle. So this step right here. And we're going to use the ATP and the NADPH created in the light reaction to make the sugar. So in your notes it says this part uses ATP an NADPH of the light reaction to make sugar using CO2. Okay, so sugar is C6H12O6. So we got the water. The H12O6 is water. But we need carbon. And so that's why plants m take in CO2. Plants must take in CO2 to make sugar. Okay, so... They, plants, for the Calvin cycle, plants need CO2, ATP, and NADPH. There are four steps to making a single molecule of sugar. Okay, so the first step, three CO2 are going to enter. So you see that right here. Three CO2 are going to enter into the chloroplast by the enzyme Rubisco. So underline that word, the enzyme Rubisco and it's going to make RUBP. So RUBP is um, a five carbon molecule that's inside the chloroplast. So by the enzyme Rubisco to convert RUBPs into G3P molecules. Okay, so RUBP, I want you to write this somewhere. RUBP is a five carbon molecule in the stroma. Okay, and then G3P, you want to write this somewhere, and that's G little 3P. Or it doesn't have to be like that, it can just be all the same size. Okay, so G3P, what that is, is half of glucose. So in other words, we need two G3Ps. Okay, so step two G3P will be removed to put towards making a sugar. So one G3P is used for sugar. Let's see if we can go to the next slide here. Okay, so here you can see one G3P is used. Okay, look at the next one. The remaining G3P will be converted back into RUBP. So the remaining G3P are going to be recycled and used for RUBP again. Okay, and then repeat steps one through three to make a second one. Um, the sugars will then be needed to feed the whole plant or algae. So plants and algae do photosynthesis. The sugar will be consumed in the process. All right, so on that blank um, area that you have in the notes, let's go ahead and draw this out. Okay, so remember we drew out the light reaction, 
So here's your chloroplast. Here's your light reaction in the thylakoids. Light reaction. And the light reaction made ATP and NADPH. So pause the video and draw this out. So far, draw that out. Okay, so the Calvin cycle, we're going to draw it out here. So that's what today's lecture was all about. So get ready. Okay, so we're bringing in three CO2. So one, two, three. So make you three big dots, and you want to label those three CO2s enter from the outside. Okay, and they're going to bind with RUBP, which we said is a five carbon molecule. Okay, so you want to draw, I'm going to draw RUBP in this nice turquoise color. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, RUBP is a five carbon molecule. So those dots that I have right there represent carbon. All right, so three CO2s bind with three RUBPs. Three CO2s bind with three RUBPs. They bind together. So here they are binding together. So you can even write that on your picture if you want to. Three CO2 bind with three RUBP. Okay, so these molecules go together and what? how many carbons are there now? Now you have three six carbon molecules. Okay, so those three six carbon molecules automatically, so let's go with um, We'll go with pink this time. Okay, so those, and they bind together, and you make one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's what, when those, the RUBP and the CO2 bind together, what you get are those six carbon molecules. Okay, now they're going to immediately break apart into three carbon molecules, and that's going to be G3. P's, G, three, P's. So you have, how many G, three, P's do you have? You have six G, three, P's. Six G, three, P's. Okay, so one G, three, P is used to make sugar. And the other G, three, P's are recycled. And so you want to write the word recycled on your paper. But I don't think I can make it fit. So those G3Ps are recycled. Oh yeah, I made it fit. There we go. So one G3P is used to make sugar, and the other five G3Ps are recycled. Okay, so this, this whole Calvin cycle has to happen twice because we already wrote down G3P is half of sugar. So it has to happen twice. And I hope that was helpful.